Namaste guys, Ashish here for Namaste Tech and we have got Honor 8 Pro with us. It comes with Android 7.0 and is powered by EMUI 5.0 and a lot of features that is inbuilt into the system that you should be actually using it on day to day basis. So in this video I'm going to tell you all the tips and tricks that you can use with Honor 8 Pro. So let's begin with it. So let's start with the apps here. The first app is the health app, which basically tracks steps. So if you are walking around and you want to track your steps, you really don't need a fitness tracker with you if you have your phone with you all the time. The second app is the phone manager. It's a common feature now in all the Android phone that's coming with 7.0 and comes with a lot of uh, inbuilt features. For example, you can see you have got a cleanup, mobile data, block list, battery section, which allows you to save battery. So you can have ultra power or power saving in case you're running low on the battery, you can do that. Then you have a virus scan feature, option to check all the permissions, which app is using which section of your phone. Then you also have drop zone management. What it basically does is it disables the pop-ups from some of the apps. For example, if you don't want Facebook Messenger to pop up right on your face, right on the app you're using, you can go here and disable it. Then you have lock screen cleanup and app lock. We have a separate video of app lock to take a look. The next app in the list is the smart control or it's called as our blaster or remote control that you can use to connect with your TV. So you can have multiple TVs and multiple devices that can be controlled if it comes with our blaster. It also has an option to customize for custom remotes. There's a separate video, have a look at it. Now there's this feature called file save which allows you to protect your files. So you don't need a separate app to have your files or data, whatever you want, your pictures to be safeguarded. So you can just enable this and it will just create a safe somewhere. Let's say I'll create a safe on my internal storage put a password and start moving files and use it. Now let's take a look at the productivity features. So as usual, we'll go to the settings where all the things are available. We'll just cancel this. And let's search for voice control. So this feature basically, what it does is, it can do a voice wake up. So if I tap on this, it allows you to find your phone. If you have kept your phone somewhere and you forgot it, you can just call it out and if you have a Bluetooth earphone connected or with a headset, you can always do that. So all these features is useful to find your phone and it works with your voice. This is a minimal voice training that you have to go through and it works really well. There's a split screen gesture available. So if you want to use two apps parallel, you can do that. For this, you need to do split screen gesture here. Just enable it and you can knock and draw a line and it works nicely. So you have multiple apps. It is easy also to close down the split screen with a cross button when it shows up. Smart screenshot. So with this, what you can do is you can use your knuckle and everything is with the knuckle. You can use your knuckle and draw a round and just it takes a screenshot. You can always use the power key combination as well, power key and the volume down combination as well to take screenshot. And the best part is you can go and edit it before sharing it, which I find really useful. Now, if you like to draw a lot on your phone using everything, you have an option which called as draw. So you can draw letters to invoke certain applications. You can draw M for music, C for camera, and it does it. Everything is done using the knuckles. That's the key point. The phone comes with a fingerprint sensor. Not only you can lock down your apps using fingerprint sensor, you can also use some guests. So you go to fingerprint management, and then you have got a slide gesture. So you can show notification panel, browse photos, answer calls, stop alarm and stuff like that using the fingerprint sensor. Now if you're seeing the screen a little dim, it's because I'm using an eye comfort feature here, which is right available on the settings. So that's the eye comfort. If you see the display has changed a little. If I turn it on, it just lowers the amount of brightness. So it is easy on eye. Now this is useful because for example, if you use your phone from like night 10 a.m. to 1 o'clock or 12 o'clock and that is when you need to have more comfort to your eyes or even if you're using it on a daily basis even during the day so it puts less strain on your eyes view mode what this feature does is if you want to scale up you know things like if you want to see more data and reduce the amount of text you can do that if you want things to be you know large you can do that change between small medium and large 
so that you get to see more view. That's why the name view mode. So you can do that. Color temperature is another feature which is found uh, on the Android phone. So you can change between cooler and warmer kind of thing. It's useful again. So if you want it to be really warm, so you can see the effect. If you want it to be a little warm, you can do that. If you want it to be cooler, you can do that. So depending on what kind of eye comfort you're using, go ahead and use it. If you want to change this navigation bar and stuff on this, you can do that as well. So go to the navigation key and you can choose between these four options. If you want an extra option, for example, this one, so the notification panel shows up from here, you can do that. So since it's a big phone, you want something to work rather quickly. So I can have an extra button which pulls down the navigation drawer and shows me what's on it. While EMUI 5.0 hasn't implemented duplication of apps completely, it's still restricted to only two apps. But if you want your popular apps like Facebook and WhatsApp to be duplicated, you can use this inbuilt feature. So what they have done is they have taken the popular ones and they have put it here. If you have requirement for other apps, you might have to use parallel space to get that done. Now the two things which I'll talk about, uh, which is related with your data. So there's something called as networked apps. So go here, networked apps and check networked apps. So what you can do here is you can control which apps will work on Wi-Fi, which apps will work on data. So if you want certain apps not to work when it's on mobile data, you can come here and disable them. You also have an option, which I don't see here. There's the some of our phones which have even for roaming. So some of the apps shouldn't work on roaming. You can always configure that as well. If you did like the video, do hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, the buttons right in front and you have got two recommended videos for you to have a look at. Thanks for watching.